We'll get started with Ethan Wedding getting right into it. Touchdown St. Mary's in the third quarter, 7-0. It took that long for the teams to score. And then a minute and a half in the game, Trevor Crow scrambling around. Gets past the defense and in Soviet Russia, Crow eats you. Crow to the house, 12 yards for the touchdown. Ties this one up at seven. Now a big play in the fourth quarter with only a few seconds left. St. Mary's fumbles the football and Wapak all over it. It looks like that they're gonna have a chance to play and score possibly before the clock runs out. They're all over it, but there you see at the last minute, Devin Shannon will have another angle of it for you here, comes in the ball squibs out, St. Mary's recovers this, we force overtime. Aiden Hinkle gets the ball and he rumbles immediately to the four yard line. He is fired up and ready to go. And a couple of plays later, the Rough Riders would hit pay dirt. Hinkle loses his helmet, but he gains six points in the process. 14-7, Riders on top. Now Wapak with a chance. We go to fourth down. This is for all the marbles and Crow is sacked. Brandon Paul getting there. St. Mary's comes away with the 14 to seven overtime victory. And afterward, Mark Shine caught up with head coach Doug Fry. Stopper, wasn't it? I tell you what, uh, I got enough gray hairs as it is. It's gonna add a few more tonight, but uh, I thought our kids played with a lot of character in the second half. And uh, you know, it was just a battle. And it's always this way. I don't care who's suiting up in this ball game. And uh, it's gonna be a, a dog fight between us and Wapakoneta. Coach, when we got to overtime and you're on the 20 yard line, you guys just went power football and you really stuck it to them. You gotta be proud of your kids for that. We are, and uh, it, it was almost a, if you go back, anybody out there and look at the last year's ball game, uh, Keck pretty well did that to us in an overtime game last year when they beat us. And so I gotta give Aiden Hinkle and our O-line a lot of credit in that overtime, they did a nice job.